Howdy. Proverbs 22, 6 says, train up a child in the way that he should go, and when he is old, he'll not depart from it. Now, that word train doesn't just mean take them to Sunday school or drop them off at vacation Bible school or to read the Bible with them or even praying before the meals. It is a lot more complex word than that. It's a Hebrew word that's pronounced karnak, the best I can tell. I'm no Hebrew scholar, but I know it is karnak, and it means literally to touch the palate. Now you think about that, to touch the palate. When a baby is first born, whether it's a human or a foal or a calf or whatever, one of the first things they need to learn how to do is to nurse. Not only for the colostrum that builds their, their uh, nutrition and their body's functions from that colostrum they get from their mother right off the bat, but it provides for them a means to sustain themselves nutritionally. It's basically building the foundation that they will be set upon for the rest of their life, health-wise. But that word is far more complex even than that. It's not just about a foundation. It is about a finishing out the job to touch the palate. Most horsemen know that a bit goes in a horse's mouth. Now, this is a bit that's got... Uh, Selena's mouthpiece, it's got a what some people call a Mona Lisa uh, mouthpiece right across here. The cheek piece is Selena's. This is a, a Mona Lisa mouthpiece. It has sort of a copper hood on there. It's got a roller in there. That, to some people, especially if it was a spade bit with a big old spoon on it, looks almost medieval to somebody that really doesn't know what they're doing. But that is not made just for a really, really good horse. It's made for a really good horseman. If you're not a sure enough horseman, you really don't have any business putting that bit into a horse's mouth. Now, back in the old days, they would take where this has got a rain chain, they would take a silk string and they would run it from here to the end of these reins. And if that young man or that vaquero was pulling so hard that he could pop those silk strings, he was pulling too hard. Because see, this isn't supposed to be harsh in the mouth of the horse, it is just supposed to touch the palate. So see, that word doesn't just mean the starting or the foundation. It doesn't just mean a little hunt and pack here and there in the life of your child. It means to finish the job. To train up a child in the way that he should go. So that when he's old, he'll not depart from it. Well, what is the way that he should go? First of all, God gave us his word and he said in the book of Deuteronomy 6, it says, these words I've given you and I want you to keep them close to your heart, always on your mind and as the foundation of your home. Think about them when you rise up, think about them when you go to bed, think of when you sit to eat and when you go about the way and always remind your children of these things. That's what God's word tells us about his word. So we should know his word, but the way that he should go God said, be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. You know, when that horse first starts out, he doesn't know a whole lot. But by the time he gets into this or a spade bit, he's considered straight up in the bridle. He's considered a finished horse because the foundation was set and the job was finished. That's what God wants us to do with our children. There's all kinds of crazy controversy going on right now with the stuff going on in schools and what they're teaching in our schools. Let me tell you something. Washington, D.C. doesn't have any business determining what you teach your kids in school. Austin, Texas doesn't have any business telling you in a small community in Texas what you teach your kids in school. That community of parents should decide what you teach your kids in school. I know there's a lot of people who might think that's radical and they might think that's crazy. But God didn't call the federal government to teach your kids and to train them up. He didn't call the state government to train your children up. He told you to train your children in the way that they should go. And when they're old, they'll not depart from it. It's God's word that we answer to. The living word as well as the written word. In the name of God. We should train up our children in the way that he says they should go. And when they're old, they'll not depart from it. Don't just start off. Don't just hunt and peck. 
finish the job. Thank you.